So let's um, go to an example. I'm here still here. Let's clear this. Um, I'm still going for this ICCP because it's still there. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, let's start from scratch. Now, um, we'll do something very similar to the assignment. Um, first of all, we need to we need to we will need to write something. So this includes we've already seen. Um, and as I said, if you include uh, a C++ library, then usually the .c is not there. If you include a C library, then usually it's .c there. Uh, that, that is the, 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 the difference there. These brackets, these switch brackets, are used uh, for standard libraries that are always there, or you can always assume to be there. Okay, I will need a return value anyway for my, for my uh, main function, so I will return always uh, okay. Later I can, I can do something else. Now let's initialize... I mean, say we basically want to have for every European country the population size in millions. And we want to save as much memory as possible. Which variable could we use here? Or which type of variable could we use here? Array? No, not really. I mean, an array is not a type. I was looking for integer or float or short integer or long integer. Sorry? A double? Float. Float. So double was eight bytes, we've seen. We want to reduce this to the minimum. Float is uh, four bytes. That is already better. We've seen a better one. Short int, that is two bytes. But there's an even better one. Short float? No, there's a character, exactly. So once we have a character, we have to reduce memory, exactly. Once we have a character, we can fit a number from 0 to 255 in there, right? And in millions, I think there's no European country that is larger than, I don't know, what is the largest in size? Which is Spain? I don't know, which European country has the, the most, the highest population? Germany? Well, Germany is 80,000. I think I'm not entirely sure. Let, let's let's ask Google. Let's see. Um, country in the EU with largest population. There you go. So Russia. I mean, uh, depends on whether you you. Yeah, exactly. This is not. This is Europe. Not really EU, but let's let's. I mean, even then, I think um, uh, I mean Russia would not be a problem. So if you ask the population in uh, millions, then you'd have 146, right? So that is easy to be uh, uh, gotten into a character. So the character is indeed the smallest. It's just one byte. And if we then say uh, population M, for instance, then we say this is our population in the millions. Now, if I do then, uh, for instance, for Russia, how much was Russia? 146, thank you. It's great to have such memory. <laughs> um, so basically, if you say, um, what, what am I doing here? Is, right? So I, I initialize then my population of country as something that is then immediately initialized to 146 uh, of country Russia for instance. And then I will, um, so we are using uh, IO stream, so we can do std c out, and we will print um, Russia has, boom. And then we just multiply this with, or we basically say um, pop m uh, million people. And as, as we always do, we do this uh, slash n, right? Hop. We delete this. We have that. Will this compile? Yes. You have faith in me. That's nice. So let's see. 
Ugh, I already did this. I can do this straight away like this. Let's do high. Oh. Oh. Why is this? Exactly. So as I said, we are using a character here, which can be interpreted from 0 to 255. We did this, right? We gave you the value 146. However, if we print this, it will be printed as a character. And the, the character that is 146 is a question mark. Right? Does everybody understand what the problem here is? Right, good. So this is really important to have to get right. Um, if you don't do this, you will have a headache later on. If you do this and then suddenly you have this question mark, where does this question mark come from? This, I, this example was very simple, but later on it will get a bit more convoluted and to trace down an error like this will be very hard. Now, how could we fix this? One of the things is we can typecast this. We'll see this later. We can say we want an integer like this, right? This is something that we can do. Um, if you do this, I hope it should work. Well, it doesn't work. Why does it not work? Exactly. Again, the next problem. We have a we have we have we have assigned it the value 146. But this will be mapped onto the character. This is perfectly fine. But if we if we interpret this as an integer, it will be as a science, right? So the sign is important here. So what is more than 127, so after 127 it stops and it will continue uh, from minus 128. Actually, I had this wrong here. This is 128, not 120. Minus 128, not minus 127. Um, but the concept is what counts. So basically, that is another thing that w went wrong here. We, we, we typecasted it and uh, we had a problem here. What I wanted to show here is all of that is possible. We can actually typecast it as, a, as, a, uh, as a, an unsigned integer and then our problems will be solved. However, this leads to lots and lots of problems. So even though we know what, that a character holds uh, or could hold a number from 0 to 255 and we could assign it a number uh, like that and we could deal with that, the interpretation completely goes wrong. First, we had a character instead of a number. Second of all, we had an unsigned or anyway, a signed integer instead of an unsigned integer. So this is two typical problems that you will bump into. Uh, and the only solution is there to really get something and to listen to, you know, your inner uh, voice that you already, many of you said, just just use something that, 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 that works straight away. So if you go to, for a data type that makes a lot more sense, then you won't have that much of a problem. Yes, the question? How about you put the um, variable duration Sorry, say that again. Oh, if I would have put, put the 46 in quotes for the character, yeah. this would be bad as well, but then it would definitely, I can show you this, um, it will definitely complain because a character in C um, should be, if it's initialized, it should be initialized like that. So this would be exactly the same that we've done. You know, so now I will assign it the value 146, 46, right? If you do a quote, a double quote, then I assign it to a string. And this we'll see later. I will give you a preview already. A string is basically a series of characters ending with a zero as a character. So four bits, uh, eight bits, zero, 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 right? Always at the end. So here you would have two bytes, one byte holding the value 146 and one byte holding lots of zeros, hence being a zero. However, this would lead to the problem here that we know that this is a character and not a string, so the compiler would definitely... Uh, did I save? Definitely 
uh, complain, right? So that is not possible. What we could have done is we could have done the single quotes. That is for one character only. So this is basically one byte that is interpreted as a character. This we could have done too. Uh, that, that compiles. Okay? But don't worry, we'll get lots and lots of tricky situations like this. Um, and the more you see them, the more you will learn about this. So, I mean, what I wanted to show with this example is that this is a very bad example, right? So, we could, there's multiple ways you could solve this. However, say that we wanted to have this as a million and later we multiply by a million, um, then these type of, uh, of errors would have been propagated all the way down, you know. So, the best thing is to indeed do a short integer, and since we know that the population is never negative, we can even do unsigned, right? I think this this is probably the best um, the best thing. So population of Russia, Russia. I'll just use that code here, right? Um, and and that will have exactly the same. There we don't have to do this <coughs> integer thing anymore. And if we compile that. And if we then execute it, then we have the right answer. 